Welcome to CIT 157, Module 2-3. Today, we will practice more HTML tags in the beginning. Then, I will talk about domain name, root folder, absolute path, and default index fire. You need to read the chapter 3 and 4 for this class. In this activity, we will practice many other tags. After creating more.html, add a br for line break. As I have mentioned before, br is called void element because it does not have any closing tag. Even br does not have any content. OL stands for ordered list. Inside OL, you need to use LI, which means for list. UL stands for unordered list. HR is for horizontal rule. Comment does not show in the web browser. It is only for programmers. There are several text formatting tags B for bold, strong and M, EM follow each browser's default. I is for italic, small is for smaller text size, sub is for subscript, and sup is for superscript. There are several quotation tags. Q is inline element. There is no line break in inline element. Inline elements go with the flow. Block quote is block element. It has line break before and after. It stands on its own. There are some special characters like character empty. Since we use less than sign and greater than sign to indicate text, we should have some other way to display them. So, ampersand lt semicolon is for less than sign and ampersand gt semicolon is for greater than sign. To display ampersand, you have to type ampersand sign and letter amp. PRE stands for preformatted. This element is good for displaying computer code because it displays as is. There are some formats for computer code. CODE elements are popular to express computer codes in the web pages. KBD is popular to express keyboard input in the web page. DL stands for definition list. DT stands for definition term. DD stands for definition description. DL is for deleted text that browsers will strike through. And INS for inserted text with the underline. Mail to is for email connection. However, it will not work if your computer is not set any email account. Inline element is displayed in the flow of the paragraph. Image, emphasis, and quote are examples of inline elements. Block element is displayed as if it has a line break before and after it. Paragraph, block quote, Heading 1 through heading 6, another the list, order the list, and list are examples of block elements. There is no hands-on activity in this activity. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. In our URL, you will see HTTP as the protocol you use, domain name, and file path from root folder. Domain name is a unique name that is used to locate your site. You have to register it. Icon 
which is the private sector non-profit corporation created in 1998 controls domain name registration for proper usage dns domain name system server maps domain name with ip addresses protocol is a rule or guidelines to follow web pages follow http hypertext transfer protocol rules basic idea of http is that a client computer sends http request from your computer to a web server then the web server send http response from web server to the client computer based on the http request ftp file transfer protocol is another example of a protocol root folder absolute path and index html in our class public.www is the root folder mapped with your username so the original path is user id public.www slash cit157 labs slash in the url you do not see public.www for it is a root folder in our setting slash between user id and cit157 labs indicates public.www an absolute path tells the server how to get a particular page or file from your root folder for an example in an url http slash slash www.users.miamioh.edu slash kuk slash cid157 labs slash my first web dot html public.www is the root folder from the root folder cit157 labs is absolute path then there is a my first web dot html file index.html is a common default web page file name it means if there is any http request in the folder with a certain file name the default file will be sent as default this image shows how default web page works this is an example of a default web page you will create just at the end save the file name as index.html in the proper folder at the end you should submit classes activity to dash three make sure that you should not submit local url which start with n you also should not attach files you just need to submit the internet urls of more html and index.html this is the end of module 2-3 in this module you have practiced many other html tags and learned about domain name, root folder, and default file name. See you next lecture.